Hey guys, Jordan here, and today I'm going to show you how to solder, not only just for the flight controller boards like the CC3D, but for other pin soldering jobs and other types of soldering jobs that this applies to. So the first thing is I've got this lightly clamped in this jig right here, just making sure that I'm not clamping on top of any important circuitry. It's not tight, it's fairly loose, I can move it, but it's not... Um, too tight whereas it's going to do damage to the circuit board and the first thing we're going to want to do is we put our pins through and to hold them there some some procedures require will these pins will come out and they'll fall out so in this video I'll show you these pins for me held in pretty tight but just in case for every one of these jobs it's not a good uh, not a bad idea to Take some tape, some thin tape, and then put this over the pins, holding them securely in, and just tape it to the board. This will prevent them to, from falling out while you solder. Now it's, you know, the pins are nicely secured. Now we want to prep the board. The first thing you're going to want to do is alcohol. Take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and go over all these, these pins just to make sure that there's no contaminants on them and our board is clean so next thing we're going to want to do is use some rosin soldering flux you can buy this at your local radio shack and what this is going to do is stop from the stop the bubbling from happening as you solder all these pins so we're just going to put a tad little drop on all these pins and what this is going to do is stop corrosion from happening from when you heat up and cool down um, when the those pins heat up from all the solder or all the heat and then when you're done you can just take some rubbing alcohol which we will and then you're just gonna you'll clean this stuff up so this is just gonna protect everything and then help the, f the solder flow nicely into all these pins so now that we've got all these coated and all protected and all prepped. Our next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna cut a piece of solder. So you're gonna want to use the 6040 rosin core solder uh, with a 0 0.32 inch uh, diameter standard. So here's what I'm using. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this stuff right here, just like so. We're going to cut it, and we've got our solder right here that we can work with. Then another important thing is, is to take a toothpick when you're applying this stuff, uh, always, and then just fill a little spot on either sponge, the sponge gets a little bit messy so you don't want to waste a good sponge, a good quality real sponge for soldering. So just put a little bit of that, that flux on there. Just to, uh, you're going to want to do is you'll notice that this tip is fairly silver and in good shape. You want to make sure that this tip, notice, is very clean. It's not black. It's all perfectly silver. And then you're just going to want to uh, clean it off in that flux. What that's going to do is just um, stop any of that like solder that bubbles up and kind of like turns black. It's going to keep your tip nice and clean. And you want to notice I'm using a very sharp tip that's going to concentrate it so you want to start from the edge from one side of the tip the uh, the pad and then uh, flow the solder from the other side and that's going to bring the solder is going to go towards the heat so you're going to heat the pad up and slowly feed that's one notice how I'm feeding from only one side and that that flux nicely protects all those pins as I'm soldering all this and then that and then you want to have a volcano looking nice curved solder joint when you're done up to the tip and this flux nicely helps let everything flow very nicely which makes it very helpful and then you end up with very clean 
solder joints in the end. Now we'll clean the tip again and the flux. It's a little bit smoky, but you see it keeps that tip nice and silver. Then keep your little solder pile. Solder pile. You can just roll it around in there just to get some solder on there. Go back in the flux. That's going to keep it nice and silver. Having a nice silver tip is very important because it helps keep uh, it helps transfer the heat a lot better. If your tip is is a bad tip, also make sure that your your soldering iron isn't on full heat. You don't want to have a very hot uh, soldering iron for this because this won't that will be very bad for controlling the heat of everything on on this when you're soldering. So now we that we've finished all the soldering, I'm gonna turn our Soldering gun off. You're gonna to want to just slip this, kind of just roll this around. Get, a, get some solder on there, and then you'll notice I'm gonna take some flux and apply it. It'll instantly turn all that solder perfect silver again, and that that gets all that corrosion stops all of that, and then that makes your tip stay nice and silver too. So then we're gonna put our soldering gun away, right here, and whatever's left of our solder. Put a little bit on the tip, and that's going to preserve the tip from getting corroded and get bad. And then just take a little bit of solder with the toothpick, and just put a drop on there just to, pre to protect the solder that's on there. And then we're going to let that cool. The next thing we're going to want to do is get some rubbing alcohol right here. With one of our, that's very hot with one of our pieces of paper. Let me go run really quick and grab a piece of paper. paper. Sorry for the delay, one sec. Keep it going. So with a paper towel, I'm just gonna take some rubbing alcohol. Just get a couple, just a little bit of rubbing alcohol on there. And then you're going to slowly just wash this out. This flux. The flux won't do anything too bad to your board, but it just looks nice to have it white again. We can unclamp it. And then you're just going to slowly dab it. We can peel off the tape. Just holding the pins. And then just slowly go through that. Well, I hope that was helpful to you guys. Thanks for watching. And have a nice day and have fun flying.